More BMW IA info, including performance specs. Fernando Alonso gives a video review of the Ferrari, which of course is the English translation. Right, Max? That's right. Absolutely. Subaru says, hey, look, it's an STI BRZ. Psych! Remember that? Also, Chevy is bringing some new stuff to Frankfurt, including bubbles, apparently. Plus, it's Friday, so we got a round of rapid fire news. Bam, 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 bam. All right, wow, that's intense. All right, I'm Derek D, and Fast Lane Daily is all up on your screen here. See that? I'm in the box. Can't put me in a box. Nobody puts Derek D in the corner of the box. Corner box. Oh, I'm in there right now, aren't I? <laughs>All right, so the Frankfurt Motor Show is in September, and we know some of the models expected to make appearances. Car models, of course, I'm not talking about the booth babes, although I wish I was, AK. Oh, yeah, Derek D. <laughs> anyway, Chevy will apparently be bringing a host of model updates and one special edition that I'm sure you're all excited about. The bubble spark. Yes, it's as girly as it sounds. The spark gets a blue paint job with bubble decals and white wheels. Thrilling. Chevy will also bring an updated Aveo, the 2014 Cruze with a new 1.7 liter diesel engine, and a touched up Malibu with a 2 liter diesel, that's a new one, and a 1.4 liter turbo will be available in the 2014 Trax. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great stuff. A couple days ago, Subaru released this teaser with an STI logo on it. Of course, we know it's a BRZ, right? Right. So the rumor mill started churning about an upcoming BRZ Turbo. Unfortunately, looks like old Subaru pulled one over on the whole internet because that teaser was for the TS concept seen here. The TS isn't just a letdown because it isn't an STI. The concept gets zero power upgrades. That's right, zip zero, stingy with De Niro. Not Robert, money. Okay. Instead, it gets some aerodynamic updates, Recaro, Recaro seats, sorry, and black rims in the GT Pack trim. Yeah, that's nice and all, but for 41 grand, make that puppy a real STI. And don't just throw the logo on there, making us think it is. You know, some people call me an STI. I'm a super talented individual. Okay. No one calls me that. <sighs> Come on. We'll move on. Shut up, JF. As Ferrari prepares to release its La Ferrari, Ferrari supercar, Ferrari, Ferrari on the world. It has turned it over to a very few privileged drivers to test it, including Ferrari F1 driver Fernando Alonso. Well done, Erica. Located at the Hunger Roaring track in Budapest, Mr. Alonso whips the ultimate Ferrari around for a bit, letting us experience the scene within the cockpit. Although, why is it camouflaged still, or is that just a crazy vinyl design that they like? Because we know what it looks like. And what did we learn from this that we didn't already know? It's quick. We knew that. Looks sexy, knew that. Uh, sounds great, knew that. And Fernando Alonso drives Ferraris. We knew that too. So what do you guys think? I don't know, one of the greatest Ferraris of all time? Let us know in the comments below. Could be, hasn't caught fire yet. Hasn't caught fire yet. Now do you mean literally or like popular wise? Both. All right. BMW has finally released all the performance specs on the i8 EV sports car before we see the production car at Frankfurt. You're gonna get 362 powers of horse, and that's a combined output from the plug-in hybrid setup. Torque is rated at 420 pound-feet, a twist, which means zero to 60 will be conducted in a, how many seconds, Erica? Take a guess. Four. Point five. Oh. So close, so close. Top speed will be limited at 155 miles per hour, the i8 can also cruise in electric mode at speeds up to 75 miles per hour for 22 miles. Pretty good, AK. Pretty good range, right? In similar fashion as the i3, the name of the game was weight savings with this car. And it comes in at 3,200 pounds, or roughly the weight of a Chevy Cruze. And roughly nowhere near the price of a Chevy Cruze. Am I right? That's right. You're ready to do some news that's quick and not really full story worthy, so we just put a bunch of stories together into one segment called Rapid Fire News. Goes the weasel? All right, you ready, Erica? 
That's right. A Valley parked 10 Bugattis in Monaco the other night. That morning he woke up and was like, I woke up in 10 new Bugattis. Uh, Nissan Micra as a Batmobile. Yes, with machine guns, flamethrower, ejector seat. Yeah, YouTube Geek Week. <laughs> a speed camera ticketed. 987 people in Australia in one hour. Don't worry, they got a refund, but then got bit by a snake because it's Australia. And Lilana Dowding cleaning her CLK's windshield. No idea who she is, but she's a smoke show. Oh, rapid fire news. <laughs> Boom! Cool off those guns. Cool off those guns. These ones? Yeah, those Or these ones? ones? Ooh. <laughs> wow. And that's going to do it for Fast Lady Daily today and this week, which of course is Shark Week. Have you guys been watching? Oh, yeah. On the Discovery Channel? That Megalodon, Megalodon. stuff. Megalodon. So real. Definitely. So fake. Yeah. I, I, sarcasm. Totally fake. I'm Derek D. FastLadyDaily.com. Is our official site, Twitter, follow us there, Facebook, like us, AK, YouTube, what do they gotta do? You gotta subscribe. You got it. Zach, what's next? Instagram. Well, that's one of them, but we got Facebook, YouTube, right. iTunes, and what are these? T-shirts. T-shirts, indeed. FLD app and Vine. Oh, I thought you were raising your hand. I thought you had a question. Yeah. Nope. All right, have a good weekend, everybody. Be safe, buckle up. Right, AK? Good rapid fire news today. Safety is no accident. Ah, there it is. You heard it, AK, all day. <laughs>